and we're going to talk about his Mormon theology, right? He said this, in eternity, the Christian is in New Jerusalem. He is in his apartment house that is made of transparent gold, like clear glass. He is called out on trips, and these trips take him to Mars, Jupiter, Venus, Saturn, Uranus, etc., transporting couples into gardens, placing them down and saying, be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth. You see what he just taught? He's teaching that in the, in the future, in the millennium, that we are going to populate the universe. By the way, he believed in aliens as well. We're not even going to get into that here tonight. But he believed in aliens as well. And he's sitting there teaching that, hey, we're going to transport couples and be like these gods over these, country, over these places. And we're going to take them to this, to this uh, planet and we're going to tell them, be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth. Now, where does that come from? Does that come from the Bible? No, that comes from LSD. That comes from the, the Mormon Bible is where that comes from. Thank you, Brother Tommy. Hey, let me give you a quote from, uh, from Brigham Young. Anybody know who Brigham Young was? One of the founders of Mormonism, right? He said this, Then will they become gods. They will never cease to increase and multiply worlds without end. And when they receive their crowns, their dominions, they will be prepared to frame earths like unto ours and to bring them in the same manner as we have been brought forth by our parents, by our father, uh, and by our father and God. And that's from Brigham Young from the Journal of Discourses. He's teaching the same exact thing, right? You see, this nonsense that Ruckman taught is not found in the Word of God. You know where it's found? It's found in Mormonism is where, where it is found. You see, Mormonism teaches that, that there is a God up there on the planet Kolob having spirit babies and that he's having their celestial intercourse with his wife there having these spirit babies and those spirit babies come down and they inhabit our bodies and that if we're good enough one day, we can get to the point where we become gods like him and we can go and populate the universe. Hey, that's the same junk that Ruckman was teaching there. Is that kind of nonsense? Do you find that in the Word of God? No, nowhere in the Word of God do you find that taught anywhere. Let me move on from that. I don't think I have to spend a whole lot of time on that one. You already know that that is idiocy. And anybody knows that. 